So I'm here at uh, Earth 2019 and here's a section of the protopasta booth. Here's Keith, he's doing some heat treatment, so it seems, but what, what's going on here on the table? So, so I've got it actually set up so that we're doing four different talks at various times during the day. Uh, we're doing a talk on conductive. We're doing some heat treating, like you mentioned over here. We're also doing some post-processing of the iron and the steel. So we're doing some rusting on the ACE. And then we're also doing some polishing on the steel. And then also, because of course I'm the troubleshooting guy, we've got a, just a general troubleshooting, uh, your 3D printer for people that are just kind of having issues overall, talking about the different things to consider when printing. So the demonstrations are at various times throughout the day. And so they last about five to 10 minutes each. They've been going pretty well. Uh, some people are getting some really good information, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, and the oven you have here, it's not like a kitchen oven. No, it's not <laughs> it, a kitchen oven. Is, it, is it for heat control no, or? It's just something, it's just something small that we had. It's not, I mean, we didn't necessarily, this, this we can have at the office is, is what it is. And so we use it to, he treats small stuff, um, and yeah, we just put it on that little bed right there and just heat treat. Because um, most offices don't have an oven, so we just got a little oven to, to actually be able to do heat treating. So nothing special as far as it's not doing anything fancy. Yeah, nothing fancy there. Yeah, cool. And, and you have the have the treatment of right, vinegar so, pear decks, right? So all different. Yeah, I've got the vinegar and the hydrogen peroxide with the salt for the for the the rusting process, and then of course we've got our sanding papers uh, for the actual polishing as well. And then of course you can do the compound if you want to, but it's generally we just generally use the papers to do that. Yeah, it's cool. I, I mean, it's good you're showing people here troubleshooting techniques and yeah. a little bit of electronics as well. <laughs> yeah, so the the flashlight was a new thing, and let me show you the. So this design, uh, this one's been up on Thingiverse for about four years and not a lot of people have made it because it requires either a filament swap or a dual extruder. So what I did is I took it apart so that you can print the two colored pieces separate and then you can print the, the conductive pieces as another print. And this does two things. It allows you to print it on a single color printer, but it also doesn't get you the color contamination like you would get right here from the conductive to the blue because the, that black doesn't like to carve. And then this all just kind of goes together as a puzzle, which yeah. is really kind of cool. Yeah, so the filament is conductive. Yes. So this, this then actually, once the battery gets in here in the LED, which I will pop in here for you. So it's funny because the design for the holes is actually about twice what the diameter of the that leads are for the LED, but it's still a tight fit because of the way the slicers treat it. All right, we're in there enough. And then I can slide this piece on. And then I should be able to pop in my battery. And then I press my switch and I get in the light. Yeah, cool. So it's a mechanical switch as well inside. Right, yeah. So. And that's what the board is actually showing is the actual schematic for a typical flashlight and then how it actually gets uh, represented. And then as far as it's actually printed, this is what it ended up looking like. And that kind of shows you that each of these conductive pieces is a resistor in the circuit. And of course, resistors add in series. So this makes it one big resistor, even though it's in three pieces. Yeah, because normally you wouldn't put a lead on a nine-volt battery. No. So you use the filament right. as as a right. conductive exactly. part right. on the resistor. Yes, exactly. That's exactly what we're doing. So normally you would not put an LED on a nine-volt battery. You would put it on like a three or five-volt battery. Yes. Yeah. Cool. That's awesome. So thank you very much for for your time. It's great to see what you're doing. It's it's interesting to see like all the metal fills, how they can be treated in different ways, and and get all the strange effects and. Um, weathering. <laughs> so, so thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>